Good afternoon everybody. It is Friday in the middle of June and I'm nipping out for a quick wild camp hopefully. Uh, a mountain loch wild camp if I can find it. Somewhere I've wanted to go before. Uh, I've passed it a couple of times. So we're going to head up. The only thing is if you look around there's a lot of clag. The cloud base is a lot lower than I kind of expected. And I really can't be bothered after the last two wild camps with not having a view. Um, I don't really want to repeat it for a third time. Anyway, I'm heading up that direction up there and uh, we'll just have to play it by ear. I may come back down, I may be able to stay, we'll just hope that it clears up as I go up. So, one piece of bad news. The midges are definitely out. I put skin so soft on, but as soon as you stop down here out the wind, oh, 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 they're on you like airborne piranhas. I'm back out into the wind, which is keeping the midges away anyway. I think it will be a very windy camp at the height I'm heading for. Weather, as you can see, constantly changes, so I've still got this jacket on, which I could do with getting rid of, but I don't want to get too wet. And uh, it's Tick City around here, so you've got to be very careful. I'll be doing a wee tick check tonight. Windier now, for sure. It's pretty warm, despite the damp. I also haven't found any water yet, and that's been about 45 minutes. It's looking down towards the islands at the south end of Loch Lomond and Balloch across to Inverbeg in the centre of your screen there and then I'm just slightly obscured at the moment looking north but we'll get good views hopefully when we get further up So that's where I'm heading over that nodule up there towards the Lochen and there's signs that things are clearing up from the north northwest. Thank God for that. I just passed two guys there who said that the wind was so extreme they couldn't get up the ridge onto Ben Lomond and they'd done the Antigua the day before so uh, it sounds like it's pretty wild up there that's the third person to warn me Yeah, definitely brightening up at the moment. I just hope that continues until I get camp up. I'm about half an hour away, I think, with a wee steep push to the loch to come. Right, I've just got these steep zigzag staircase here where you can see the person coming down. And then I shouldn't be too far away. Uh, Arca is opening up. There's a cobbler over there, south of North Peak. And Ben Arnane, etc. And Ben Louis, which hopefully I'll get a slightly better view as I get a wee bit higher. Pathwork's definitely got a lot better since the last time I was here. I think it's aided by the fact it's so dry. Um, hardly a stream running. That's the summit of Ben Lomond up there. And the normal tourist path comes in here. Where you can see the white bags. I think we must be doing quite a lot of radio path work. Just where I thought it was getting easier. Zigzags again right along this knobbly ridge. So when it gusts, it's actually quite severe, so I'm just scoping out other options in case I need them. One of them might be behind this rock here. Still get great views, but it looks like it might just be in the wind shadow. And also just off the hill on this side. I'm sure there's plenty of hollows in there that are not too damp. <sighs> right, gained a bit of height again. And as you can see, gorgeous views. Looking up to... Loch Sloy, I think, and Ben, who oh, was that? Ben Borlach and Ben Vane, I believe. 
Uh, quite exposed on the top here, much as it's tempting to just pop the tent up. I'm still going to head for the locking. The wind is really swirling about on it. It's kind of hard to actually gauge what direction it seems to be coming in. It seems to be almost like a wee tornado spinning in the bowl here. I think this might do it. I've got a lovely view looking up towards the bend just off to the camera to your left. A view going south and then over here I've got all the mountains in view as well. So I'm going to take no chances with putting this up. The wind is quite severe when it hits it and I'm hoping I'm basically tailing to wind. There's my view and there's the summit. Super quick to put up when you're tired, which is great. So even though it's a tent with poles, it's just a lot easier in a tent that size. So let's get comfy, get stuff in, and get dinner in. Right, we are set up. Cozy in here at the wind, it's nice. Certainly quite mild. Right, get slow on. Had a wee bit of a technical with this gas from Quechua. I brought it into Cathlin yesterday, and for some reason it's leaking at the, uh, the main seam. I can't seem to get a proper seal on it for some reason. It's a wee bit worrying. Okay, I've tried it three times now. I think I've got it on, but I'm a wee bit concerned that there's gas coming out of here. Which would not be funny if you were cooking in a confined space. Anyway, I've never seen that before with the Soto. It seems a bit strange. The, the seal itself seems okay. We'll give it a go, but we'll better keep it outside safely somewhere. So far, so good. Got soup on the boil. Clag's moved in again a wee bit on the top of Ben Lomond. Should have added the water to the couscous instead of done it together, but hey ho, we'll give it a try. I'm going to add this fish to it. The place is going to stink, so am I. Wind chill out there is crazy. So if I come in, my hands are actually numb. I have brought uh, my Montane gloves, which I may have to use. Surprisingly cold tonight, actually. But I guess it's just the wind chill because it's such a strong, almost, I would say it's a gale. Uh, and if I turn you around here, you can see I've just, I'm literally just relaxing. Put the mesh door up just now just to keep the place breathing. But it's much nicer in here and it's a nice, stable little bunker. an absolute hooli outside. It seems to change direction so often. Anyway, I don't think I could be in a much quieter tent in this kind of weather. Oh, the rain's on now as well. <laughs> Welcome to Scottish summertime. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the winds when they get up are quite violent actually. They fairly blow about and pummel the tent. Across this, just where I was filming, in no obvious place. It's June, and I've actually got to put my gloves on to keep warm. Uh, not so bad when you're out the wind, for the worst of it. But, uh, oh, the top of that hill up there, oh, absolutely Baltic. I wanted to do a time lapse for you, but it was just impossible. The camera was getting rattled um, and the wind even secured down. It was just crazy. So anyway, I've got a wee cup of tea on, a wee bit of whiskey. So Chris, it is nine o'clock. Probably just see how the light goes and hope that it might uh, try and catch the sunset, who knows. The summit ridge of Ben Lomond has cleared again. You can just about see the trig on the left hand side, just before the kind of rubbly down descent. But I don't see anyone up there at the moment, they'd be struggling to stand to be honest. So I found a good use for the, um, the 
Beelay donut on the top of the tent. I've turned it into my own down lighters. A la your nice living room or your kitchen. There you are, look. Flush fitting, different power ratings. Doesn't get in your way, doesn't bang your head. Right, it's about half ten. I'm going to brush my teeth. Go to bed. It's going an absolute good way. So as I said to you before, I'm in the Rab Summit Extreme tonight and I have to say, I thank God I brought it because it has been a wee bunker as we get blasted about here. Uh, excellent, and I've lightened it off. I've used very thin Dyneema cord now instead of the original bungee guy lines, which has lightened it off to under 1.8 kilos and they seem very solid. It seems to work very well. So anyway, let's get my teeth brushed. I'm afraid I'm going to have to get under cover. There's been a lot of tent time in this one. But uh, yeah, absolutely Baltic and blown a hooli. Right, we're off to bed. Yeah, what a windy night that was, and a bit of rain, and quite cold, not very summer-like at all, um, but the tent was fantastic actually. Dry as a bone, no condensation, stable in the gusts. Um, talking of which, actually, I'll show you a wee clip of the Van Gogh in the same kind of weather, or similar weather. Um, you'll see that on your screen from a previous trip, which I've not shown you. Anyway, I'm going to get up. I've done a bit of breakfast, we'll see. I'll maybe just do a fast exit and get out of here. I'm not going to go to the summit. It's, uh, again, just wild and windy and clagged in, I think. I'll have a wee look outside. Right, quick breakfast before I bail. It's still very unpleasant up here, I have to say. The police to get back down at sea level, get a bit warmer. I have to say that was the best £250 I've ever spent for the night. Okay, as always, leave no trace. So again everybody, thanks again for watching my video. And uh, if you haven't liked or subscribed before, please do, it's much appreciated. I'm going to head back down now. Hopefully get out again soon and bring you some more videos. So thank you and see you soon. <laughs>